Don't panic. I'm Andy Moore, just hanging out with the crew. I've been a cartoonist all my life. I've been a professional cartoonist for like five years now. I started in high school, got a few professional jobs here and there, and then came on at the Sunflower after I graduated in town from high school. And I've been doing Sunflower comic strips ever since. And some of those faces have shown up in comic strips this semester, and some will and some won't. And I start off the uh, comic strip, I think of an idea, and that's the hardest part. You sit and think and think and think, and nothing ever comes, it seems like. The, the blue pencil is non-photo, so when you scan it or take a photograph of it, the marks that you make with the blue pencil won't show up. So when you ink over the blue, you don't have to erase the pencil marks. I use a standard non-photo blue pencil to sketch out onto the Bristol board. I use the Bristol board, uh, pretty large size, about two and a half times the size of the actual printed cartoon. I use India ink, a dipping pin with a 105 Hawk Quill nib on it. The computer, you can use any type of computer. We have Macintosh and I use Photoshop and it's just a generic scanner to scan in the artwork and we've just converted over to InDesign for page layout and so we drop the cartoon into the design after it's done. I like comics because it's such a demented art form because it's not real life and you can make anything happen and a lot of times anything does happen. There's a lot of chaos and a lot of craziness that I can put in this cartoon because things that are crazy are funny, I think. There are a lot more glamorous professions than cartoonists, but I feel like it's the rock and roll of art. So the, the progression of the comic is bonk, ow, oh gosh, Lucy, I'm sorry. And then he says, can I make it up to you by springing for a pizza tonight? She says, so, do you always wait until you body slam a girl before you ask her out? And then he says something, and she goes, okay, yeah, let's go get a pizza. And then he thinks to himself, works every time. Now I'm trying to figure out the punchline, which is always the most ridiculously difficult part of the cartoon. Once Moore has finished inking his cartoon, he then digitizes it to begin the colorization process, only to have it eventually return to printed form in the end. The whole page. Comics page in color, first time ever. How fantastic is that? I'm using Photoshop and I'm scanning it in pieces because the original art works so big it won't fit on the scanner bed. The Photoshop allows me to move my text around once I uh, get my text wrong, I can fix it up. I have the text kind of moved around already. What I'm going to be doing now is moving the panels around to get them into the final order. What is red will not be selected. That way I can do the background as a selection and then I can fill that with a color. Anything is possible and that's why this is the best job in the world. So this is the uh, final layout of the page before we go to press. And it'll look very much like this. And it'll be full color and that's too Very exciting. <laughs> I have just finished and it's midnight. I've been working about six hours on this cartoon. Maybe a little bit more than that, if you count the sketching. <laughs> Long night, but somebody's got to do it. And if you want to find out more about this cartoon and our other cartoons, go to www.morecomics.com.